DeAndre, just uh, everything was working right with uh, you and Travis today. I guess talk about that and uh, just his performance. Um, Travis is a very talented receiver. Um, he was in the right places at the right times. Certain reads, I needed to go to him. He made great catches. The first two games, it seemed like you guys were really connecting. He had 13 catches in the first two games, and then, you know, the game started just open up for Dalvin a little bit more in the last couple games. What was it that you guys were seeing that, that really opened it up back for Travis again today? Um, Wake Forest had a very stout, very strong defensive line, and uh, they started keying on Dalvin, so we had to open, open it up and start to throw, and Travis made some great routes and made some great catches. For How important back is this bye week coming up right before Clemson? It was very important. It was a chance to uh, heal up, um, give us a chance to correct early season mistakes, and it's a chance to catch up on school work and other things outside of football that we need to take care of. DeAndre, for a quarterback like yourself to have guys like Dalvin and Travis, you know, as, as you know, <coughs> relief for you on the offense, you know, what's that like for you? Um, it's a blessing. Uh, two talented guys, two experienced guys that's been playing here for a long time and that knows what it takes to win games. Um, you know, those are two leaders of our offense. And, you know, when one thing's not going right, you know, they're quick to pick it up. On that third, third the drive in the third quarter where you hit Whitfield and uh, Rudolph then take for the touchdown, um, back to back, you know, what were some things you were seeing on that drive then? Um, I was just seeing it well. Timbo was calling it well. Um, he was putting our offense in a great position to be successful and we started to dial it up. Are those like some of your favorite plays or like that, that made it look so easy or it just? Um, just no, we were just focused and we executed. Other than size, what does Tate bring to the table on the red zone? Um, well, he's big, so other than size, uh, I really don't know. Um, he can block real good. He's a very physical blocker, so um, when we go in our goal line packages, we like to um, use Tate to you know, get him good blocks. And other than his size, I'm not really sure. Um, I really like his size, about 6'6", six, six, and he helps me to you know, get the ball over the linebacker and throw it to a spot where he can only get it. Andrew, how do you feel, um, you know, with your shoulder and stuff, especially after falling in, in the Miami game? How do you feel, you know, health wise? I feel well. Uh, I had a long week of treatment this week, and uh, trainers did a great job of preparing me for this game and, you know, getting my shoulder back in tune. Were you kind of like fairly limited in practice, or were you making all your throws like a regular week? Um, yeah, I made all my throws. That was pretty good. You know, Jameis had Kelvin when he was here. Is Auden Tate kind of your Kelvin Benjamin out there? Uh, yeah, I guess that, if you want to call it that. Was Travis doing anything different to, that allowed you to find him through this game, or was it just it was just his day? Um, no, he wasn't doing anything different that he doesn't do on every Saturday. Um, he was just running great routes, getting open. Um, had a lot of energy today, like he does every Saturday, and it was just his day. What does the offense need to do to continue the momentum when Clemson in two weeks? Uh, we need to continue to trust uh, trust each other. Um, practice well, uh, practice with great energy, so that we can play with great energy. One more. All right, we're good. <laughs>